This year, Clarence House commemorated the heir apparent's 73rd birthday with a new portrait of him sitting on a bench in Highgrove. The photograph, released yesterday, shows Charles dressed in a blue pin-striped suit, smiling at the camera. Three years ago, to mark his 70th birthday, Clarence House also released portraits taken at the Prince of Wales' official residence. The candid photo included Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge as well as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The Cambridge's children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis also featured, while the two most senior royals at the time, the Queen and Prince Philip, were missing. According to Mr. Larkham, the Queen excluding herself from the portrait may have been down to etiquette. The royal commentator told Harper Bazaar upon the release of the portrait, the main reason for the Queen's absence is that it's Prince Charles's birthday portrait, so he should be the most senior member of the royal family to appear in it. However, Mr. Larkham also suggested Her Majesty's absence could point to a new era of monarchy. He added, there's also more evidence than ever that there's a conscious effort to start pushing Charles to the front as he takes on a more prominent role. The Queen's health has concerned royal watches in the past month. The monarch was seen using a walking stick for the first time in 17 years in October, and a week later spent the night in hospital for preliminary investigations. Her Majesty returned to Windsor Castle the next day but was advised by doctors to carry out light, desk-based duties and cancel her attendance at all royal events. In turn Charles was the senior royal at the COP26 climate conference in Glasgow, where he called for a war-like footing to tackle the climate crisis. The Prince of Wales spoke to world leaders at the opening of the conference, and insisted on the need for a vast military-style campaign to channel the resources of the world's private sector. On his birthday this year, the Prince of Wales was also given little time to celebrate. Charles led the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph, with the Queen having pulled out from the event due to a sprained back. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said that Her Majesty was disappointed to miss the annual event in honour of the UK and Commonwealth's war death. The Queen, who has taken time away from public duties on doctor's advice, said on Thursday it was her firm intention to attend the service. It was only the sixth time the monarch had missed the Remembrance Sunday event in her 69 years as head of state and the first time in 22 years. Instead, the heir apparent took centre stage on what was his 73rd birthday. Prince Charles took over from the Queen four years ago in laying out the wreath at the Cenotaph, while he has taken an increasingly central role in royal affairs in preparation for his accession. After leading Sunday's remembrance service, he jetted to Jordan for his Middle Eastern tour. Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall arrived today in Amman and will later travel to Egypt as part of their first royal overseas tour for two years due to COVID-19. Reportedly, before leaving, the Prince spoke to the Queen after she pulled out of Sunday's service. The tour of Jordan, in what is the Kingdom's centenary year, will focus on addressing the climate crisis and seek to showcase strong bilateral relations between the two countries. On the first day of the visit, Charles and Camilla will be welcomed by King Abdullah and Queen Rania at Al-Husaynia Palace.